Next what we're going to do is we're basically just going to put what we've learned and, and put it all together. So you're going to see it uh, a little bit in different forms, but we're still going to use the same rules. The zero exponent rule, the negative exponent rule, the power rule, the product rule, and of course your quotient rule. So uh, let's look at these to start. So what we have is we have our base right here and it's raised to the third power. Now like I said, if you want to get it in a great habit, you'll say 3x to the fourth, y to the fifth, and we're basically going to write this three times, and that is because that is what our exponent is. So negative 3x to the fourth, y to the fifth power. All right, now what we're going to do at this point is we are going to multiply these things together. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3, which should give us a negative 27. Uh, we do have a like base of x. Uh, when you multiply like bases together, the base stays the same, and we're going to add our exponents. So 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 4 will give us 12. Uh, we also have a like base of y, so when we multiply like bases together, the base stays the same, and you'll add your exponents together. So that simplifies to negative 27, x to the 12th, y to the 15th. Sorry, I have the thing over there. All right, looking at the next one. This time what we're doing is we're just multiplying these two things together. So what we need to know is anytime you're multiplying uh, like bases together, you're going to multiply your coefficients. Negative 7 times negative 2 is a positive 14. x times x to the fifth, well, x's exponent's really 1, so we'll add those together. The base stays the same, as you can see, and 1 plus 5 will give us 6. y to the fourth times y to the sixth, the base stays the same. We add the exponents together to give us y to the 10th. So that's a simplified form for that polynomial.